Hi, Nick Perdomo from Perdomo Cigars. One of the most asked questions of me is how do you smoke a cigar? Well, the first thing is that you have to find a reputable retailer that stores cigars in a correct fashion with the proper humidity and temperature. So always go and find a very good cigar retailer. Like for example, here at Famous Cigars, where if you look at the warehouses, everything is climatically and humidity controlled. Their humidors are set up correctly with the proper humidity and also cool air that makes your cigars fresh. And that's gonna bring a lot of enjoyment when you smoke the cigar. So the first thing, when you pick your cigars, you should always ask, you know, what type of cigar? Because I don't know if you like a light cigar, a medium cigar, a really rich cigar. So it's all dependent. So a lot of times when I recommend a cigar before someone's going to smoke one is what their flavor characteristics. Everybody likes things a little bit differently. So as we skip on to that, we get our cigar. And for example, this is a Perdomo 20th anniversary Epicure. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut that cigar. And the most important thing about cutting the cigar is making sure you don't cut too much. If you cut too much of the cigar, what will happen is it will unravel. And a lot of times in the cigar industry when we see uh, mistakes or anything where we have an error or so, and a lot of it's operator error and a lot of it's miscutting cigars and mislighting cigars, which I'm going to go on here in, in a couple minutes. So I personally like a flat cut, but there's bullet cuts, there's punch cuts, there's also a great V cutter out from Calibri that I really like. So the first thing we want to do is we just want to cut that cap on the top just up on the little, just just above the head, not too deep. And literally, when you when you when you get rid of the the, the residue of the cigar, you really just have a cap because we just want to pull that cap off. Okay, so a good flat cut is something I highly recommend, and also a good lighter too. Um, but with wind and so on, if you're outside, a lot of guys play golf and so on. You really want to kind of have a, a flame lighter like this, which will combat the wind. If you're inside, of course, you can use matches or a big, but I personally like these types of lighters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure I light this cigar because I probably cut it and to be able to smoke a cigar you want to be able to enjoy it, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my band and I've done this before with with uh, the cigar uh, advisor and I'm going to take a band and I'm going to make a, a segue or a marking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular cigar, it's got our company logo and what I want to do is I want to toast a foot. The reason I want to toast a foot is, is I want that wrapper to seal into the binder and the binder is basically the leaf underneath the wrapper. The reason I want it is because I want it to be nice and tight so when I smoke it nothing peels away and the cigar will actually burn more properly. And This is going to take an extra 10 seconds but if you do this I promise you you're going to enjoy the cigar much better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lighter and I'm actually not going to have the light touch. It's, it's basically the heat above the lighter. If you can see you'll see it start lighting up and I have a little black ring and I'm just going to keep turning the cigar to like I'm just charring it but I'm not using the flame I'm not burning the cigar I'm actually taking the heat and I'm going to keep turning it till I got it all the way up to the top of my band I'm going to blow on it and when I look I'm going to have a nice tight carbon line around that cigar which means that my wrapper sealed into my binder they don't teach you this stuff but it's really important whether you've been smoking cigars for one year or 30 years this really is going to make your cigar smoking much more enjoyable and takes a very little time. I could actually probably smoke this cigar now, but I haven't lit any of the filler yet. But I'm, again, I'm not going to scorch the filler. If you see people doing this, they're basically taking the flavor characteristics of the cigar and they're actually burning it and singeing it. It would be no different than taking your steak and taking the ends of your steak before you cut it and eat it and char it to the... <laughs> To oblivion. It wouldn't be enjoyable in the taste. It would be it would be too charry. And the same thing with the cigar. If you light it incorrectly, you're really going to not get the full enjoyment of the cigar. So again, I turn that cigar 360 degrees. I got a nice little border line all the way around where I've singed it, where I've taken that wrapper and sealed it into the binder. And the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to light that cigar. And again, it's not going to be flame to the tobacco. It's going to be heat to the tobacco. So basically, you want to be like a quarter of a centimeter above the actual flame. That is actually the hottest part. It's not the flame. It's just above the flame where the heat actually concentrates. So I'm going to take the top of my cigar, I'm going to put it in my mouth, and I'm going to light underneath. You see the flame? That's actually the heat rising up and singeing the filler. So what's happening is my filler is heated up and it's going to start burning, but naturally, not with actual fire, but with the heat. So I got that part up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that cigar, one quarter turn. Same thing, one quarter turn, back another quarter turn, so I'm to the top. If you notice, when I blow here, 
my ash is completely white all the way around and my wrapper is completely sealed and, and, and right into the binder and into the filler where I'm going to be able to enjoy my cigar. And you don't see any char marks like you would see with a lot of people trying to look like they're roasting their cigar like, almost like a marshmallow. That's not what it's about. So with the proper cutting and the proper lighting, this particular cigar, depending on conversation, the amount of drink we're going to have and so on, because cigars are celebratory, should take me about 90 minutes to smoke this cigar. But I'm going to have 90 minutes of great enjoyment. And basically, when you want to smoke a cigar, people ask me, how long should you puff on it? I think the correct answer is any way you want. But in reality, you want to take a puff once every 30 to 45 seconds. This is a natural product. It's only tobacco and water that we use in here. So periodically, you might have to relight the cigar if you have a long conversation. It's totally natural. There's no accelerators in the cigars or nothing like that. So the correct way to smoke a cigar outside of the proper way I told you to cut and light it is really to enjoy the cigar. So one of the other frequently asked questions while you're smoking a cigar is whether you should take the band off. And I always say, never take the band off. And there's a couple reasons why. The first reason is, is when the operator, the, the banding girl, puts the actual band on, we use a fruit pectin. And because it's a pectin and adhesive, some of that adhesive will touch the actual wrapper leaf. So what happens is if you pull that band off, sometimes a piece of that wrapper comes right with it. And you destroy the smoking experience completely. One of the worst things that happens is something you might not ever even see which is basically you produce fine little stress cracks on this wrapper. You gotta remember, this is like an onion skin. The roller stretches that wrapper out as much as possible so we can get some oil up on there and the sheen and the prettiness because it's the dress of the actual cigar. So what happens is if you pull that band off, you might not see anything crack, but all of a sudden, as that barrel starts heating up, as you start smoking that cigar, you'll start seeing little splits. Those splits actually came from taking off the band. So just wait till you're about a pinkies away of the, of the band that you're smoking, of the cigar, and what will happen is that barrel will heat up and it'll easily come off. A lot of times it'll just slide off and again, you're going to have a lot better smoking experience by doing that. So always keep the band on. And lastly, one of the questions I always ask is how far should I smoke the cigar? Some people I see I call them mustache burners. They go down and they almost burn their mustache. There's really no right or wrong way. I always say smoke the cigar as far as you like. I always smoke it literally to about the middle part of the band sometimes because the way that we construct the cigars, we want that fulfillment of enjoyment of that tobacco to come from start all the way to finish. So when you smoke a Perdomo cigar, I can promise you, you can smoke it up to your mustache if you like, but really the, the correct answer is as far as, as you'd like to smoke the cigar. So in conclusion, if you light the cigar correctly like I taught you and you cut the cigar correctly, by cutting it very lightly, you're going to see that you're going to get a lot more smoking enjoyment in each and every cigar that you smoke, and that's what it's all about. So keep listening to The Cigar Advisor, and this is Nick Perdomo. Thanks for listening.